There is a seismic change that is about to shock the world of social security, and it is breaking news. Millions of elderly and disabled people in the United States are on the verge of achieving a financial breakthrough that has the potential to completely transform their lives overnight. A groundbreaking new payment system has just been introduced by the Social Security Administration, and it promises to put more money into the pockets of people who are in the greatest need of it. Nevertheless, this revolutionary reform has the potential to reshape local economies in more ways than one. Healthcare and even the dynamics of families across the countries. As we unpack this game-changing announcement, which has policymakers buzzing and recipients celebrating, remember to stay tuned for more information. What's up, everyone? We would like to take this opportunity to welcome you back to the channel. Today we have some great news to share with you. However, before we get into the changes for today, make sure that you follow this channel by clicking the subscribe button and activating the notification bell. This will ensure that you are always up to date on everything stimulation related. During these trying times, we are here to keep you informed and to give you the power to make decisions. All right, let's get right down to business. At this very moment, we are going to bring you a story that is causing shockwaves to go across the entire country. A bombshell revelation has just been made by the Social Security Administration, which will have repercussions for millions of people in the United States. An innovative reform of the Social Security system that is set to bring about a shift in people's lives all around the country is currently being investigated in great detail. A revolutionary new payment mechanism for supplementary security income is going to be implemented by the Social Security Administration, SSA, a move that has been in the works for years. ASDI beneficiaries are receiving SSI and Social Security Disability benefits. Be aware, guys, because this is not merely a simple adjustment. We are discussing a comprehensive revamp of the procedures that are used to disperse benefits, and the ramifications are really staggering. Let us dissect it in detail. One of the most important aspects of this reform is the implementation of additional direct deposits made on a monthly basis. That comes on top of the benefits they receive on a regular basis. From this point forward, recipients will have further amounts sent directly into their accounts. Based on preliminary estimates, it is possible that these supplementary sums might include anything from $100 to $300 every month. This has the potential to be the financial salvation that a great number of elderly people and people with disabilities have been looking for with all their might. Keep your hats on, however, for that is not the end of the story. An overhaul is going to be performed on the full payment schedule. The practice of spreading out a single monthly payment over a period of 30 days is no longer common. A greater number of smaller contributions will be made more often under the new method, in order to assist beneficiaries in more efficiently managing their budgets and to ensure that they get a consistent flow of income throughout the month. This modification has been implemented. Possibly at this point, you are wondering who is eligible to receive this game-changing boost. The response is straightforward, yet it packs a big punch. Every single person who is currently receiving SSI or SSDI is eligible. If you are already a part of the system, you will be taken into consideration for this upgrade automatically. On the other hand, it is essential to keep in mind that the particular sum of the additional payment will change depending on the specifics of each individual's situation. There are a number of factors that will play a role in deciding the exact amounts, including the present benefit amount, living condition, other sources of income, and even the state in which the individual resides. Let's put this into perspective and think about the impact that this will have in the real world on older citizens who rely on SSI. Many of these individuals are living on fixed incomes that have not kept up with the rising costs of living. It's possible that this will complete it. Think about how much easier it would be if you didn't have to choose between paying for your meds and putting food on the table. It is possible that this additional help could serve as a key financial buffer for SSD recipients who are struggling to meet their continuous medical bills, the costs of specialised equipment and their personal care requirements. But this is when things take a turn for the better. It has been ensured by the Social Security Administration, SSA, that these additional deposits would not accidentally cause recipients to suffer harm in any other way. It is a very astute move on their part to structure the program in such a way that these additional payments will not be counted as income for calculating eligibility for other aid programs offered by the federal government or the state. 
Consequently, users are able to get this additional support without the risk of losing other forms of assistance that are equally important. This is a solution that has been meticulously constructed with the intention of assisting without causing any further issues. Let us discuss the timeline. This is not some political pipe dream or promise that is far off in the future. The rollout will start the following month. In order to achieve a seamless transition, the Social Security Administration has developed a staged strategy. The first phase, which will begin in just a few weeks, will concentrate on SSI beneficiaries who are 65 years of age or older. After a period of three months, the second phase will involve the incorporation of DSSI grantees. At long last, in half a year from now, the program will be expanded to include all SSI beneficiaries under the age of 65 who are still alive. This technique is meticulous, with the goal of ensuring that the system functions well for all of the beneficiaries and ironing out any kinks that may exist. There is additional wonderful news to share. Those who are currently receiving benefits do not have to do anything in order to get these new contributions. On the basis of their records, the Social Security Administration will automatically change payment schedules and amounts. Everything goes off without a hitch, aimed to provide assistance without introducing additional bureaucratic obstacles of any kind. On the other hand, just like any other significant movement in policy, this modification is not devoid of difficulties and prospective consequences. Among the experts, the influence that this change will have on the economy is a heated topic, and there are impassioned views on both sides of the issue. It is argued by proponents that placing more money into the hands of people who are disabled or elderly might provide a big boost to the economies of the local communities. These groups have a tendency to spend a greater proportion of their income on needs, which has the potential to generate a multiplier effect that might be beneficial to businesses and communities all around the country. At the other end of the spectrum, critics express their worries about the long-term effects that will result from this additional spending. There is a concern among some economists that it would contribute to inflationary pressures, which might potentially reduce the positive impact that the additional payments have could have. Others raise concerns about the potential strain that this could have on a social security system that is already struggling to meet its obligations, which raises issues about the system's ability to remain viable in the long run. It is of the utmost importance to interpret this development within the broader context of the ongoing debates regarding the reform of Social Security. In spite of the fact that this new direct deposit system represents a huge milestone, it is only one piece of a much broader puzzle. Those who advocate for comprehensive reform are continuing their efforts. Concerns such as the long-term sustainability of the Social Security Trust Fund, revising the formula for cost of living adjustments, and possibly raising the maximum on taxable income for social. Security contributions are some of the issues that need to be addressed. While we are delving deeper into the consequences of this massive upheaval, it is essential to take into consideration the potential rippling effects that imps that it may have across a variety of different areas of society. It is possible that the healthcare business, for example, will see severe effects. It is possible that recipients would be more likely to seek preventative care or to manage chronic diseases more successfully if they had access to access to additional monies. This has the potential to result in improved health outcomes as well as decreased expenditures associated with long-term medical care. There is also the possibility that this policy shift will have an impact on the housing market, particularly in regions that have a high population of people with disabilities and older citizens. It is possible that the additional income will enable some recipients to continue living in their homes for a longer period of time, which could perhaps slow down the trend of older citizens making the transition to assisted living facilities or nursing homes due to financial restrictions.